What's up, Alphas? If you're watching this video as of Wednesday, February 6th, which is the day that this video is being uploaded, that means that you are literally the very first in the whole wide world to hear about today's juicy news. Other than me, of course, since I was the very first one to gain access to this new tool bought to us by E-Rank's own Anthony Wolf. Now, before we begin, I just want to throw out a quick disclaimer that I'm not an affiliate of E-Rank, formerly Etsy Rank, nor am I being paid to make this video or to bring you this awesome news. Anthony and I just happen to be really close friends, and he asked me to create a little virtual tour of this new tool for you guys. So. What is the E-Rank Change Tracker, and why is this such a big deal? Well, the Change Tracker is E-Rank's newest pro membership tool, and it released literally at the same moment that this video was published. With this new feature, you can select listings in your shop to track, and E-Rank will record a daily snapshot of that listing. The tool will track changes made to your listing thumbnails, your listing titles, your listing tags, the views for that listing, the favorites for that listing, as well as some additional data such as the quantity and the price changes for that listing. Now, you're probably wondering, Starla, what are the benefits of documenting all of this data in the first place? Well, the answer to that is simple. Tracking your listings each day will allow you to monitor exactly how the edits you make to your listings affect your overall views, favorites, and sales. Basically, you can sort out what works and what doesn't work even quicker than ever. Not only that, but if you're a data nut like I am, you can even export your track data to Excel, CSV, or PDF for your own personal records. So your next question may be, Starla, how long will E-Rank track my data for the listing that I select? The answer to that question is indefinitely if you maintain a pro subscription to E-Rank or until you manually select to stop tracking a listing within the tool, which I'll be showing you how to do in just a minute, or until you cancel or allow your E-Rank Pro membership to expire. And let's be honest, guys, E-Rank Pro is only 10 bucks a month. It's my absolute favorite SEO tool, and the support that Anthony offers is far worth more than the subscription price. Once again, I'm not an affiliate of E-Rank, I just really love the tool and the overall support that Anthony provides, and I encourage anyone who wants to improve their Etsy shop to give it a try. So now that we've discussed some of the capabilities of this new tool, let's quickly go over a few things that the new change tracker does not do, just to kind of avoid some future confusion. First, the change tracker does not retroactively show all changes. Basically, this means that the tool can only track changes from the time that you click the track changes button for one of your listings. And second, the tool does not show changes made in between snapshots. Each snapshot is taken roughly once every 24 hours, so you can expect day-by-day -day updates rather than real-time updates, okay? Now, in just a few minutes, I'll be going over exactly how you can use this tool and a personal look into how I'll be using the tool for my own shop. But in the meantime, let's talk about where this new tool is located within your E-Rank Pro account. As I mentioned before, the tool was published at the time of this upload, so your first step is to log into your account by visiting etsyrank.com, or you can also follow the link that will be directly below this video. I'll also include an additional link for the pro membership subscription page if you feel that that's something that you might want to upgrade to later, okay? After logging in, you'll be able to locate the new tool in the left navigation under the shop toolbar and within the new listings tab. Super easy, right? But before you dig in, let's explore this tool together a bit so that you can become familiar with the data that E-Rank will be tracking, as well as how you can personally use this data to improve your own shop. After entering your listings tab, you should see a collection of all of your listings, along with a new white button that says change tracker. As of right now, you can track up to 20 listings at a time, because guys, let's be real. 
This is a lot of data, and it takes a lot of processing power to bring us all of this data. So I personally recommend tracking the listings in your shop that you feel need the most help, as these are gonna ultimately be the listings that you'll wanna tweak and edit the most. After you've started tracking a few of your listings, you'll see a few new buttons. The red button will allow you to stop tracking a listing, which will halt the collection of the data for that specific listing. The green button will allow you to look at the changes made to that listing so that you can begin identifying trends between edits, views, favorites, and sales. Clicking the green button will bring you to this page, which will update each day and provide you with a new snapshot. For example, you can see that I've been tracking this listing for four days, and you can see the data of the snapshot listed here. Additionally, you can track a drop in quantity, which usually means that you made a sale. Definitely a good thing, right? Plus, you can see increases or decreases in both your number of views and favorites for that specific listing. So let's look at a real life example with this listing and how I might personally use this tool to track a listing in my own shop. Okay, so on January 27th, I began tracking this listing in my shop and for three days, I noticed a flat line in my views and favorites. No one is looking at my listing. So obviously I need to make a change, right? On January 30th, I decided to edit my listing title and tags by adding in some new long tail keywords. E-Rank will highlight these changes that you've made to your tags and titles in green so that you can easily keep track of the exact days that those edits were made. Over the next few days, I check my listing tracker every 24 hours, keeping a close eye on the edits that I made on January 30th. To my surprise, just three days later, I began noticing an increase in my views and favorites. Then on the fourth day, I made a sale, which is indicated by the decrease in quantity. Not only that, but on the fourth and fifth days, both my views and favorites continued to climb. This shows me that the changes that I made to my listing were a success and led to an increase in visibility and even a sale. Now, I'm sure you're beginning to see exactly why this tool is so amazing, but it doesn't stop there. If you're watching this video, there is a pretty good chance that you're one of my handmade alphas. And if you aren't, I'm gonna leave some links below that will explain how to become one for free down in the description. But as always, I like leaving you with a few alpha advantage tips that will really accelerate you ahead when using this tool and give you a glimpse of how I'll personally be using the tool in my own shop. So first, with the new change tracker, you can easily track how changes to your SEO directly affect views and favorites within your shop. You can manually begin making a record of keywords that you know for certain work well versus the keywords that you've tested and failed with. You can identify if changes to a thumbnail photo increase or decrease your number of views and favorites, which is huge if you're currently working to improve your listing photos and are experimenting with different styles. And lastly, you can use the change tracker to easily revert titles back to their original version in the event that you make an edit to your listing that ends up decreasing your views, favorites, or sales. Since eRank will keep a record of exactly when you made the changes and what changes you made, all you have to do is go back and find the day that was tracked before you made your edits in order to gather that old title and tags. I'm sure by now you're ready to go and check out the new change tracker tool for yourself, but please do me a favor and let me know in the comments what you personally think of this new tool at a glance and if you plan to try it out for yourself. I'll be passing all of these comments off to Anthony Wolf personally, so be sure to let him know what you think. Also, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more Etsy tips and even weekly Q&A sessions. There's also gonna be a link to my email list down below where I occasionally send out freebies, cheat sheets, and other tools that I personally feel will help you on your journey to Etsy domination. Until next time, guys, have an awesome week.